Hello, welcome back. So in the previous video, we have seen how to create the basic emitter. So now in this video, we are going to see about the curves and also we will see how to create the burst particle by using the curves. So curve is the most important uh, option in this Niagara. So we can use to control the scale of the particles. So now in order to add the curve, we need to go to this particle update and click on this add, search for scale sprite size. So we need to select this option and see now whenever we add this scale sprite size here, it has been added the graph. So just I will maximize this. So here see defaultly we got this curve. That means like now the particles are going to start with zero scale. Here you can see whenever I select this point and now, now you can see the value here. So this is a value like scale. So now the particles are going to start with the zero scale and it is going to end with the one scale here. This is nothing but the frame. So this is a zero x frame and this is the first frame. So whenever we click on this play, so now you can see here the particles will start with the zero x scale and end with the one scale. And now in case if you want to change the value, so suppose if I select this point and if I give the value to like three or something, now the scale is going to change from one to three. So whenever we, whenever the particles are going to start, the scale size will be zero and whenever it is going to end, so it will be in the size of three here. So now I will click on this play. So now you can see when I zoom out, so now the particles are starting with the zero value to three value. So it depends, suppose in case if you want to give to like a five or something, you can give. So just if I click on this play, now it is going to die with the five size. And also down, you can see there is an option like uniform curve scale. So default it is like one. So what the thing is, suppose if I give the value to like three, now uh, the particle scale will be exactly three. Suppose in case if I type it to two, now the what now what the thing is, the particle size will be six. Means like it is just going to multiply with this thing here. Means like if I give the three, then uh, if I give the value two here, then the total scale will be six here. So now whenever we click on this play, now the particle size will be six at the end when we give this value here. Suppose in case if I type like five, now the particle will die at the scale of 10. So in this way, we can able to multiply this thing. So default level give the value to like one. So one is nothing but now defaultly it will be like five scale. And also here we have this uh, templates. Uh, for example, now the, so let's say I will give the value to like two or something. And if you want to like frame this, you can press F so you can able to frame this curve here. And here we have some templates. So let's say, suppose if I click on this, now the particles are going to start with the one scale and later it is going to end with the zero scale. It is nothing but it just reversing the curve. So if I click on this, now the particles will start with zero to zero to the value which we have given like one. So suppose if I click on this, now the particles will start with the one to zero. And here we have some other presets. So if I click on F, so it is going to frame. So according to this, it will uh, scale the particles here. And if you want to maintain the uniform scale, then here you will, you will have an option like uniform. So if I select this uniform, so suppose if I give the value to like two or something, so totally the particles will stay at the scale size of two from starting to end. And now here we will have an option like non-uniform curve. Non-uniform curve is nothing but you will get the curve individually for the x-axis and y-axis means like uh, suppose you if you click on this thing here now you can able to change the scale of the y-axis suppose for example if i give the value to like five or something so if i give the value to five so now what the thing is uh, the scale of this y-axis will be five at the end of the particle here so in this way we will have an option to scale individually for the x-axis and y-axis uh, suppose if I select this uniform curve, the uniform curve will have the both axis at the same value. Means like if I give the value here, if I give the value to like two or something, then it will affect for the X and Y axis. So if you want to maintain the uniform scale of this particle, then we have to use this uniform curve. And if you don't want to maintain, if you want to create any sparks kind of effect, then we can use this non-uniform curve. So for timing, let it be like a non-uniform curve. And now if you want to see the curve properly, means like, uh, see, suppose if I select this one and just if I click on F to frame. And now here you can see there is an option show the curve in the overview. So if you click on this, now you can able to see the curve here. So we can control the curve properly in this view here. And you will have a more room to edit this curve here. So suppose if I want, you can like scale this. Just. 
in this way and just you can press F so to it will frame. And what the thing is, in case if you want to add a key, you can add the key for this curve. Means like, uh, for example, say if I want the particle should end with the zero, then what the thing is, we need to add the key here. That means like, say, suppose if I select this thing and if I give the value to like uh, zero here, if I give the value to zero, then so the particle size will be zero. What I want is like, I want to start the particles with the zero and that will also end with the zero. What, what we need to do is we need to add the uh, key point in between this curve here. So in order to add that, we can right click. There is an option like add key. So if you click on this add key, we can able to give the value. So for example, if I give the value to like one, now you can see the particles will start with the zero scale and in between it will go, go to the one scale and laterally it will end with the zero here. And also you can able to uh, like smooth this curve. So if you want to smooth this, you can select this point. And here you can see there is an option like a tangent. So it will smooth. And also you can select this. We can add this smooth here. So now what the thing is, the particles will going to start with the zero value and also will end with the zero value. And you can able to change the size. So let's say if I give the value to like four or something, now the particle C, it is going to start with the zero. And again, it is going to end with the zero here. So just let it be like an one. And also in case if you want to add, uh, if you want to add a key, there is an another shortcut. Let's say if I delete this thing and if you want to add the shortcut, just you can middle mouse click so that it will add the point. So in this way, we can add the point and just we can give the value here. And just we can uh, select this and you can convert into smooth and you can able to edit this tangent handle according to your requirement. And now we'll see how to control the noise. Uh, so for example, I will just uh, delete this thing and I will give the default value to like one. And now here you will have an option like vector noise for. So if you select this and you can go to the timeline. So in order to add the curve for this vector noise force, so here the force amount beside you can see there is an option like uh, you can drop down this menu and you can search for curve from so float from curve here. So you can select this. Now it will add a curve here. So if you want to see, you can click on here. So you can able to see this curve. Let's say I will give the reverse one. So just I will click on this. So what the thing is, whenever the particles burn, the force will be zero. And after one frame, it will be one here. Let's say if I give the value, uh, if I give the value to like thousand or something. And now you can see the starting, uh, the force will be zero. And literally at the end, it is going to be end with a thousand. And it depends on your requirement, uh, whatever the effect you want to give, you can uh, use this value here. You can create the cool effects by using this noise. You can see better uh, if I go to the initial particle and just I will decrease the lifetime. Uh, so let's say if I give to like two or something. Or let's say if I go to direct set. So if I give to like, let it be like an one. Now you can see actual effect here. So if I zoom in. And just I will pan. So now you can create this cool effect by using this noise. So if I go to this vector noise and if I give the value to, let's say if I select this curve and if I press F, you can frame. And now I will give the value to like uh, 3000 or something. Now you can get this thing here. So now we'll see how to create the simple burst particles by using these options. So just for timing, I will close this. We will create the new Niagara system. So I will close this thing. So right click, effects. Just I will go. I will select this Niagara system, and here I will select this one and click on next. Now I'm going to add the empty particle here. So select this, add, click on finish. So let's say like Niagara system underscore like burst. So I'll double click on this. So now go to the emitter update, click on this add, search for burst and select this option. So now we can give the spawn pound to like uh, 150 or something. So now see it has been created the particles, but the particles are staying in the same position. Whenever we go to this timeline and if I click on this play, see now the all the particles are staying in the same position. So now we'll go to this initialize particle and here in the sprite size mode, I will give the, uh, I will select this uniform. Now what the thing is, we need to push these particles. Uh, so we have to go to this like particle spawn and click on this add, search for velocity. So like you have to select this add velocity. So after adding the velocity here, you can uh, say there is an error. So in order to solve that, you can add this 
and click on this like solve source of velocity or else you have to click on this fix issue. So whenever we click on this fix issue, it will just add this solve forces and velocity. Now here, what the thing is, all the particles are going in the same direction. So we need to get this like burst kind of effect. So all the particles has to spread around. So we need to go to this like add velocity and here the velocity mode, we need to select it to from point. So now when we click on this play, so now you're getting this burst kind of effect here. And here, what the thing is, the particles are going to a uh, loop here, means like say, after some times, again, it is going to repeat. See, now it is going to repeat. What the thing is, I don't want to repeat this explosion. So if I want to play only single time, we need to go to this emitter state. So here, the life cycle mode, we have to select it to like self and the loop behavior, I have to select it to once. So what the thing is, now you will get only the one time explosion. So if I click on this play, Okay, now you got this one time explosion. So now if you want to increase the speed, you can go to this add velocity here. Let's say if I give the value to like 150 or something. Now, if you click on this play, okay, we got this nice explosion. So it depends on your requirement, how much uh, speed you want to maintain this thing. And also if you want the explosion should start after one or two seconds, uh, we need to move this thing. So if you click and drag now, defaultly it will be locked. So as I explained in the previous video, if you want to unlock this, we need to go to this emitter state and we need to enable this option like loop delay. So click on this loop delay. So now if you left click and drag, you can able to change the position here. So let's say if I want to start the particles after like one second or something. Now if you go back and now if you click on this play, so the explosion will start after one second. Now what the thing is, I want the particles to start with very speed and later it has to end up with very slow. So in order to do that, in the particle update, we need to click on this add, search for drag. So it is a kind of field. So just we need to add this thing. So after adding this drag field, so if I click on this play, so now the particles are going to slow down at the end. So now if you want to refine it properly, uh, what the thing is in the drag field, we can add the curve. So just we will select this and add this curve. And now what the thing is, the drag is going to start with the one and going to end with the uh, zero. So what the thing is, I want to reverse this. So I will click on this and reverse. So what the thing is, the starting drag will be zero. Literally at the end, it will be going to be one. So if you want to increase, you can increase. Let's say if I give the value to like three or something. And now see. So now it is going to slow down. So it depends on your requirement, what kind of effect you want to create this. You can add the curve for this drag here. And if you want, you can add the curve at the point. So let's say if I like middle mouse click and just you can create this kind of effect. And if you want to create this smooth, you can select this, right click and just, you can click on this smooth here. So you can select right click, so smooth. So so now we got this nice effect. Now in this way, we can make the explosion to start with a very fast and end with the slow animation. So if I now click on this play, so if you want to adjust it, you can adjust, you can drag this point very down. And now just if you click on this play, so the explosion will start fast and end with the slow animation. And if you want to create more explosion, you can, uh, select this add velocity. So let's say if I give the value to like 600 or something. So now if you click on this play, so now we got this nice burst particle effect. And also if you want to decrease, you can decrease to like 300 or something. So just will see this burst here. So it depends on your requirement here. And now what the thing is, all the particles are going to die at same time. So if you don't want that, we can go to this initialize particle and we can see this lifetime. So let's say if I give the option to like random. And so if I give the value to like four or something, so some particles will die after three seconds and some will die after four seconds. So it depends. And also suppose if you want to add the random velocity to these particles, uh, here you can go to this add velocity and in the velocity speed here, you can select this and search for random range float. So select this. So let's say you can give the maximum value. Let's say if I give to like 400 and now if I give the value to like 180 or something. So some particle velocity will be 
like 180 and some will be between like 180 to 400. So now if you click on this play, so now we got this random velocity. And also now if you want to give the random color, so if you give the colors, it will be very nice for this uh, explosion. So in order to add this, we can go to this particle update and click on this add. So search for color. So you can select this color option and default you will have in one color. So if I select this and if you do red, you can, you will get this red color. And if you want random color, so in the color option here, you can see there is an option. If you click on this drop down arrow and search for like color from curve. So if you click on this now here default, it will be white. So in order to add the color, so you can select this and double click on this. Uh, let's say if I give the value to like red, and now uh, if I double click on this, so let's say if I give the value to like blue or something, but still you can able to see only the red color because uh, here the opacity of the blue color is zero. So you can double click on this and we can add the uh, like opacity. So what the thing is now, so at the end you are getting this blue color means like uh, we are giving the color by the by its age means like whenever it is going to end uh, it is going to end with the blue color so as this i explained in the previous video if you want to see the detail thing you can uh, watch the previous video i will put the link in the description so in case if you want to add you can add the color so let's say if i left click here so if you double click and if you do like a uh, green or something you can do green and now you'll get some green color here. So now if I go to the first frame, so we got this nice color effect. So that's it for this tutorial. So in the next video, I will show how to create the missile effect. So see you there.